Hello everyone. This is Night Out SGS9. I'm just gonna tell you how my day has been going. I just got done watching um, Super Bowl 55, and the Tampa Bay Tampa Bay Buccaneers win 31 to nine. It was all one-sided. The it was it was all one-sided from the get-go. Tom Brady smoked him, beat Kansas City like like it was just another day at another day on the football field. They they were determined to win and they won. And um, it, it, you know. It, it was a one-sided game. Kansas City were were very thrown off their game real bad. And uh, and I I didn't have it on cable or on my fire stick, so I had to watch it on my new uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I had my screen on for five hours and forty one minutes and my my battery went down to sixty percent from ninety three percent when I started. So I would recommend the iPhone twelve Pro if you Pro Max if you can afford it. But th but this year's Super Bowl was all one sided. I thought it was gonna be more competitive than it was, but they they really smoked the Chiefs. And the the Chiefs did not bring their A game. <laughs> they should have. You should have known going up against Tom Brady that you have to bring your A game. I don't know what happened. I don't know. They just. It's like they got burnt out after the first quarter. But overall, it was a one sided game. But I, I knew the the Buccaneers would would win because of Brady. He's one of the best quarterbacks ever compared to I would say Tom Brady and Peyton Manning are the two best quarterbacks in the league and that's just my opinion but I agree with that and um, so other than that I was watching the Super Bowl on my phone and my phone didn't die once um, lasted five hours and 41 minutes it went from 93% all the way down to 60%. And I would recommend it if you can uh, can afford the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It, it, it is worth it, though. Great phone. And um, so other than that, let's see. I um, ha haven't been doing very much, though. I've been keeping myself entertained and occupied and very... I've been keeping myself pretty warm. It's very cold here in Indiana. It's uh, right now, I think, 9 degrees outside. I'm not really for sure, but uh, it's very cold. So I've been keeping myself warm. I've been uh, doing well myself. I've just been... It's been a week or about a week since I did my last recording. Let's see, my week was pretty quiet, like always. I really didn't do anything else exciting. Just uh, sat around and um, uh, just my normal routine of not doing a lot of things. Um, but I've been staying healthy during the pandemic and everything. But... Um, if if you have one, if you want to watch the replay of Super Bowl Fifty Five, it was all it was all one sided, but I did I thought there was going to be a little more competition by the Chiefs, but they stunk. I don't know what happened. They just they just burn out, I guess, after the first quarter. And Tom Brady, he just uh, took him to school, I guess. I can see why he's. Won seven championships all together, or a lot of them. And he's one of the best quarterbacks ever, along with Peyton Manning. 
they're they're my two most fa favorite ones and um i'm glad i was able to watch it on the nfl app on my phone um i wish i could have watched it on tv but uh but I don't have cable, so I had to watch it on my phone. And I'm proud of my phone. It lasted for five hours and 41 minutes on a single charge. And it didn't die once. And um, so if you would have the money, I would recommend the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It goes for about 1099 plus electronic tax, so around... Just round it up to twelve hundred, or close to that. It's a it's a expensive phone, but it's, it's very worth it. And um, I'm I'm glad I was able to watch Super Bowl Fifty Five. And uh, they they had a new person on their on their halftime show. His name was tomorrow um next weekend which is an odd name for a singer but he was he was a ca canadian singer and his name was next weekend i i never seen him before the the halftime show was a lot different than this, than it usually is guess the NFL was trying something new. It was unique. I uh, the halftime show. And uh if you like to watch it, um you can rewatch Super Bowl 55 on the NFL app. That's where I watched it. And um overall, it was a pretty good game, but it was all one-sided. I I thought Kansas City would do better than they did, but they I think after the first quarter, they just said the heck with it. Seemed like they stopped trying or something. But <laughs> when you're going up against Tom Brady, one of the best quarterbacks ever, along with Peyton Manning, you have to bring your A game. And I don't know what happened to Kansas City, but they just, they were burnt out after the first quarter. But. The score was 31 to 9 Buccaneers. And um of course everybody probably knows that. They watched it. They had some pretty good commercials. Um a lot of a, a lot of they had a DoorDash commercial and then they were promoting um Paramount Plus coming out soon and a lot of a lot of filler commercials and some new ones and um so overall this year my watching super bowl 55 it was a good game it was just one-sided i, I would have liked more action from kansas city but tom brady really smoked him i can see why why he's so good and he's him and peyton manning are two of the best quarterbacks ever and um, I can see why. I think they said it's number seven or number ten altogether, but number seven of the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And um, and I I I was happy that I was able to watch the Super Bowl Fifty Five this year. I don't think I watched Super Bowl Fifty Six last year, but I was able to watch it on the NFL app for free. Mm. And uh, so anyway, that's just my experiences with Super Bowl 55. Overall, it was a good game, but I knew the Buccaneers would beat them in the end. I just wish it was a more competitive game and more high-scoring game by Kansas City. That was actually terrible. 31-9. to nine. You can't win on field goals when you're going up against Tom Brady. But that's just my opinion. And um, so anyway, I've been doing pretty well. I've uh, been keeping to myself. I've uh, been trying to stay warm. It was about 11 this afternoon, and we had a big wind chill. 
And uh, so I've been trying to keep myself entertained and occupied. And I hope everybody has been doing well since I did a video a week ago or a recording a week ago. I don't have any enough fall or um, enough subscribers to do live streams yet. I'm just doing my recordings and telling you how my day has been going. So if we if you want to rewatch Super Bowl 55 if you didn't watch it by any any means but everybody's watched it and I might try to save up my money and get some of their their shirt and hat I don't know I got to I got to pay bills first but we'll see and um so anyway I just been telling you how my day's been going and uh, it was pretty quiet. I was happy to be able to watch Super Bowl 55 on my phone. It went from 6, 6.30 p.m. until 10.30 p.m. So five and, a, five and a half, five and a half, five hours and 41 minutes. And um, the halftime show was a little different. But it was okay. it was all right. It's okay to have some something new, and uh, the artist was named Weekend. Um, he was an artist from a uh, musician from Canada. Apparently, I asked Google my Google Home speaker about it, and that's what it said. So. Overall, this year, Super Bowl 55 was a good game. It was all one-sided, but it was a good game. It was a little weird. Not They only allowed 25,000 people in the stands, in the stadium. And um, so overall, there were some people there, but... Uh, sorry, I'm kind of yawning right now um, my nose has been stuffy I'm still waiting for these wounds to heal in my nose and um, I hope everybody has been doing um, doing well but back to what I was saying the the people in the stands were uh, they allowed 25,000 people to come um, but they had some virtual fans too on holograms and the halftime show was a lot different than it usually is but I, that's the first time I've heard of an artist called um, Weekend and um, so the halftime show was a lot different this year but it was pretty good and uh, so boy what a game it was all one-sided but I knew I knew that Kansas City had to bring their A game to to defeat Tom Brady, which I knew they were going to have difficulty to do that. Um, but I can see why Tom Brady is one of the best quarterbacks ever, along with Peyton Manning. Th those two are my favorites. And um, I'm kind of disappointed in Green Bay a little bit. They were so close, and then they lost at the last second but seems like when they go up against Tom Brady they all, always have a tough go of it but at least they did pretty good season this year and um but yeah I was totally surprised with Kansas City I thought they would have a better performance than they did but going up against Brady is like going up against Peyton Manning they're both the best two quarterbacks in the lead in the league and according to my opinion along with Drew Brees is all right too so is Aaron Rodgers but it's it's uh the best two I think is uh Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and uh so anyway that's just my take on uh, Super Bowl 55 and I hope everybody stays warm on this very cold night and i'll be glad when it starts warming up again and we can get over 
this very cold winter we've been having. I've been having some pretty high, high bills here lately, electric bills and stuff. And um, so anyway, that's just my thoughts and opinions about Super Bowl 55 and how my day's been going. I'm going to have me a nice night and uh, I'll talk with you guys again soon. I'll try to do another recording whenever I have something to tell you about or just whenever I fill up to doing one. So good night, everyone. Take care and God bless. And I'll talk with you guys again soon. This has been Night Owl SGS9. Take care and God bless and stay warm, everyone, on this very bitter and cold night. Take care and God bless. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This has been Night Owl SGS9. Thanks for watching, everyone, and God bless.